All right, what's up everyone? Welcome back to another video on my channel. In this video, I'm gonna be going over the new NVIDIA DLSS settings uh, in Rust that came about a month or two ago. I thought I'd make a video on this because quite a few people were asking for it on my last video, which got over 100,000 views, so thank you all for that. But without further ado, let's just get straight into it. So I'm gonna start with FOV. So for this one, we're just gonna stick it on 90. And sticking it on 90 is a great thing because you can just see more, you know? Like, I'm not gonna go over it too much because everyone knows what FOV is, but just stick it to 90 because you can see more. Come with visibility, have this on if you're playing, if you're not playing solo. Because, you know, you see someone over there, you go, oh, he's 155. You see at the top of the screen, you can pretty much give calls. I mean, everyone knows that, but just thought I'd go over it. Rich presence, this doesn't matter. Censorship, whatever you want. Hide signs, off. Blood on, I guess. Some people will turn this off because um, since the new update, like when you get shot and stuff, your screen can go like, red which is can be kind of grief so you, you can have this on or off but sometimes if you're getting shot with a suppressor um you're not really gonna know like if you're like dying or some shit so i mean i i, I keep it on so so according to youtube stats quite a lot of you watch my videos aren't actually subscribed so if you could subscribe i'd really appreciate it and you can always unsubscribe if you don't like the content but i'm going to be posting a lot more content like this in the future again this is a new setting right here with a new voice box dlc Again, you can choose, you know, have it on or on it off, have it off. I mean, it's fl flashing of music, you know, some voice prop shit. Don't have to go over that. Physics, I mean, from what I have heard, if you have this on like zero, it helps FPS. So um, I used to play with it on zero all the time, but like, I didn't really think it makes too much of like an impact. So I, I just kind of like leave it on that. I mean, I would probably recommend having it on like in the middle or if you don't care at all, just turn it off, you know, it doesn't really matter. RGB lighting, this is not really going to affect any FPS really, un unless there's like a million like disco balls or some shit like that been placed. If that's the case, then I guess you can turn it off or turn down the brightness. User interface, this has stayed the same. User interface scale, pretty self-explanatory. It's just the uh, scale of uh, your UI. Um, I just have mine as it is because I'm used to it. Um, show HUD on, show chat. I have that off just because chat is grief most of the time. It's just toxic, there's no need. And uh, all this, again, it's preference. Turn this off if you've actually played the game like before at all and you know what you're doing. If you don't know what you're doing, keep them on because it'll help you. But if you're not, then just, just turn them off. There's just no need to have it on. Even if you play a model, I mean, I like to have it on because it's just kind of like, you know, you can like spin it around and shit. It's just like something to do. Audio. Now, this is a thing where these two right here, music volume and menu music just have these off you can't be playing with the, the rush music in 2021 like come on seriously you no one can be doing this i hope no one is and uh with the like voices right here you know just keep this on like mid or whatever i'll just turn it off if you don't want to hear any ear rape or anything like that game sounds volume i have this on max just because i like to hear things you know i, I am the man of the like sound orient at times entrance volume i have this off because it's grief you just get like retards coming up to base with like trombones and just like spamming them in your ears so i, I have this off for like that reason voice props i have a friend who griefs and uh constantly plays this so i can't have this turned off then your speaker mode i have just my own stereo that's just how it always has been since i got the game i mean this can pretty much almost crash your game if you uh change it and if you saw that right there but again it almost crashed and now my audio is all weird and shit like it's all like glitch, like, you know, I would not recommend having it on anything else apart from, uh, you know, stereo, just because it's just the best one in my opinion. Sensitivity is completely up to you. Never really take anyone's sense. If someone says, oh, this guy's a pro player, he has that sense, but that works for him, that doesn't work for you. It, like, it just it works for someone else, that doesn't mean it's, it's going to work for you and you're going to be insane just because they use that sense. You know what I mean? So just mess around with it and just, you know, use what you feel comfortable with. Flip Y axis, have this shit off. No one, why would you ever even have that on? Auto transmit voice, uh, just turn that shit off, otherwise you're like fucked. Um, MIDI input, you know, I mean, if you're trying to like play a piano light and shit like that, I mean, you can have it on, but I'm personally not trying to do that, so I have that off. Key binds, again, this is a personal thing. You can take other people's key binds and like, you know, some keybinds, you might think, oh, you know what, he has that, I'll use that, and you can try it out. You know, keybinds, you know, I have a video on it, you can go check it out if you want, but I, I will link it in the description right now. But 
what I'm going to say about this is, you know, keybinds like these right here, just don't change these because every FPS game, every game in the world pretty much uses these keys right here. That's all I would say. Don't really change any of the like main keys just because you'll mess yourself up on like every game. But like anything else you can like change really that's not that's not too important like i have this on c some people might think that's weird but i do so now screen now just have this on uh whatever res your monitor is really uh, this is i just have a normal monitor 1920 by 1080 most of you will have this right here and i'm currently playing on borderless but i am going to change this right now to exclusive just because i actually i didn't know that i was on that but uh vsync turn that off because it will cap your fps to what your monitor's refresh rate is i'm pretty sure that's what it is so just never have that on uh, fps limit i just have mine on the max because why would you want to limit your fps just, there's just no real reason for it graphics quality i have mine on six but i wouldn't recommend having it on six i just have it on six because i like the way the game looks like quite a lot and um, it might impact my fps quite a bit like but i don't really care too much about that it might drop it down by like five or ten i don't really see this graphics quality taking too much of an impact on my fps personally but what I would recommend to everyone, it's probably out on free, so your game doesn't look like you're playing Roblox, but at the same time, you know, it still looks okay, and you, your, your FPS doesn't get, like, smashed as much as it would on, like, 6. Render scale, I have this on full. I'm just going to turn this all the way down to show you what the game looks like if you have it off. So currently, we are playing Roblox on a, a GameCube, you know, right now. This is uh, how it is, if you have the render scale on this. Uh, even if you have the worst PC in the world, I do not recommend having that on. NVIDIA DLSS. So this is the main part of the video right here. I personally have this off. And you're going to think, this is kind of fucked for like what I'm saying. But this only works if you have updated drivers. I think past the like 11th of July, 14th of July. Um, and if you don't have them updated drivers, then it's basically just not going to work. I don't know what to tell you apart from you might be thinking, why is it not working? It's probably because you, you haven't updated your drivers. So make sure you update them. But I have this off and I'm going to tell you why. Right? It's not really like impacted my FPS too much. I'm not going to lie. I've tried it. I've tried all the selection. It's not it impacted me too much. Well, I don't know if you can see it's too well on the video, but I'm going to turn it on right now. And like, we have a max performance, yeah? I don't know about you, but like, this looks kind of shit, I ain't gonna lie, like, it make, it's like, makes it harder to see enemies, you know, it's kind of like blurry and shit, kind of jerry, you can see like, individual pixels on the, like, gun and shit, so you, you might think, oh, that's only one setting, you know, uh, let's try this, you know, this one is like, you know, just as bad, really, it's just like, it's just grief, like, I don't know what to tell you apart from, like, I can't really make out that player as well, it looks like, how, how I explain it is it looks like, wearing glasses when you don't like have to wear glasses it's all like blurry and shit it's just kind of like self grief so max quality we can try that one this one is probably the best one out of them all probably because it says max quality but i mean maybe it's just for my graphics it looks like shit so you know let's turn it down and see what something on the free free graphics would do you know again not much of a difference it still kind of makes the game look worse than if you actually had it uh, off in my opinion Try Ultra Performance, here we go, on the uh, GameCube Roblox again, you know. If you honestly play the game like this, then like, your PC is either like, maximum fucked, or um, you just don't care what the game looks like to any extent. Like, the, the iron sights of the AK literally are waving, like, they're like, not static, they're like, moving. I'm not even joking, it's like, maximum bad. So what I'm going to tell you is, if you have an alright PC, you know, some of this like, alright, you get pretty good FPS on average. I would just say have it off because it makes your game look worse, in my opinion. But you know what? It's my opinion, so it doesn't really matter. But max performance, again, you know, this is for the max performance. If you're trying to get like FPS like on the uh, on the go, you know, then use this. If you want an in between, then go for balance just right here. Because you know, it still makes your game look kind of shit, but not as shit as it would if you had it on like the worst one. But, you know, you'll still get more FPS and whatever. But for me personally, I seem to get lower FPS. I don't know if something's wrong with this game or what, but it's just is what it is. Right, max quality. Is there any point in, like, even running this? Because it kind of, like, defeats the uh, objective of, like, having NVIDIA DLSS on, I feel like, personally. So, I mean, you know, if you can have it max quality, then, like, you might as well have it off, you know? Ultra performance, you know, if you use this, just, you're fucked. That's just what I have to say. 
So, shadow quality, you know, I have uh, mine on zero because, you know, shadows, you know, I don't like shadows. I don't know what to tell you apart from I don't like shadows, you see. Right, and we have like shadow cascades, you know, so yeah, I have mine off, but because I don't really give a fuck about having four cascades on. If I'm not, if, if I'm going to be honest, like, I, I don't care about having that shit on because it's minus like visibility. Like, you see, like, I have on four there, they're like spazzing out and shit, all them shadows. I turn this like off. There's just none there. It's, it literally is harder to see that player right there if you have this on, and it's it just looks shit as well. Like what's like what really is this? It's just I mean you know again it's up to you. If you want to make the game look all nice and whatever, have it on. But if you want the more FPS and the uh, more like plus visibility, you know just just turn it off. Max shadow lights again. I don't really like shadows, so I just keep it off. Water quality. I mean, have this on too, I guess. Uh, makes water look nicer, if you really care about it. It doesn't really affect uh, FPS. Water reflections, you know, makes water look nice. World reflections, makes the world look nice. Shader level, it's just like shader level, you know what I mean? Like, we turn this all the way down. We turn this all the way up. Makes not much of a difference, let's be fair. Doesn't really affect FPS too much. Draw distance, I'm gonna say have this on max. This could affect your FPS, like kinda. If you have like an ass PC, because you know, the more you have to render in, it's like the Minecraft, you know, you, you have it on higher chunks and uh, you know, your FPS goes like lower just because you're rendering more things in. It's just like simple. But um, you know, I have it on max because I feel like my PC can handle max and you know, I like to see as far as I possibly can do. Shadow distance, I have this on right now to max, but honestly, I'm probably going to turn this shit down. I didn't really know I had it on to be honest, but uh, I'm just going to turn that right down. Now, this right here. I don't know how to say that word, but that filtering makes a sharp, makes texture sharp when viewed at an angle or large distance. Large performance impact. You see that right there? Large performance impact. Can't be having this, you know. That's minus FPS. Parallax mapping. You know, high performance impact again. Can't be having that. That is a minus FPS. This right here, again, makes no difference whatsoever. I have it on because uh, why not? Now we have NVIDIA Reflex Mode. They added this just before the DLSS, um, like probably like a few months before. And, um, you know... There's no reason to not have this on. It just reduces system latency, like it says, reduces the input delay, you know, in your mouse, in your keyboard. There's literally no reason to not have this on. So just turn that on. This right here enables the use of latency measurement tools, like NVIDIA Reflex, whatever, 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 whatever. You know, I don't really care about that. I have that shit off. So now image effects, you might see a lot of offs here. And this is again, my personal opinion. But if you turn all these on real quick, so I'm just going to show you what my game looks like right now. It's like pretty clean, pretty sharp. You can see quite well. If I turn all these things off on here, right? Like what am I looking at right now? There's no, I, I could not play on this. If you try and PVP in this, it's literally just hard to see people. Motion blur. If you have this on, then like, I don't know what you're really doing. Um, it's hard to see things like blur in the middle of the screens. It's all like dark and shit you know just so i i hate all this stuff really apart from um sharpen because sharpen i didn't actually realize but if you have this off it makes your game look a bit blurry in like my view it look you can't really see on the video right now but it's like slightly blurry compared to if you have it on and um i i always used to play with it off for like years and i recently turned it on and i just kind of like fuck with it so i have this on right now it makes things look more like vibrant and shit i guess so um i just you know i just kind of like it anti saying you know a lot of people would say uh, have this on this makes the game look proper blurry as well but I, I don't recommend anyone having this on like look at that guy over there he's just kind of blurry right we turn this off you know he's not blurry yes this makes the like slight like jagged edges and stuff but i do not care about that you see i'm like jagged edges and whatever i turn this on right here they're like not as bad, but like this, they're still there. But like, you know, like these ones on this wall right here, so you'll see them. It's like that. They're like there right now. And like, if I turn this on, they're off. But I don't care because this is blurry as shit we're on. So I have that off. And that's all you really need to know about this bit. Occlusion culling, you know, enables hiding of objects behind walls. I guess you could uh, turn it on. I mean, makes like hardly any difference. So it doesn't really matter. I just have it off. Grass shadows. You know, again, it's shadows. I'm not the man of the shadows. Oh, but I am seeing I have the contact shadows on it. You know, can't be having this. This is uh, not what we have over here. So 
Let's just stay in uh, pedal support. I mean, unless you're like playing pedals with like your drums and shit, um, have it off because there's no reason to have it on. All right, and now I'd say that's it for like all the rust settings. I went over everything pretty much here. And uh, yeah, I mean, if this helped you out in any way, shape or form, then uh, leave a like on the video and remember to subscribe because, you know, subscribing helps me out quite a lot. I'm trying to get to 1k subs so you can help me reach that faster. And uh, yeah, goodbye.